being is usually one of the worst aspects of painting, but with the paint pod roller system, it couldn't be easier. To optimise cleaning, remove as much paint as possible from the roller by rolling out on the wall or a piece of newspaper. Before cleaning, the unit must be drained of paint. To do this, place the roller in the docking station and press the drain button. This will reverse feed unused paint back into the paint pack, stopping automatically when completed. Unlock the dip tube by twisting it anti-clockwise and then remove it. Excess paint on the dip tube will be removed by the dip tube wipe, although any paint on the end of the tube may need to be removed with a rag. The dip tube may be placed on the rest inside the lid whilst the paint pack is removed. Using the side handles, remove the white chamber from the front of the unit and fill to the fill line with 5 litres of warm water. Replace the chamber in the unit, close the lid and reinsert the dip tube, twisting it to lock in position. Press the clean button to start the cleaning cycle. In just 10 minutes the paint pod roller system automatically cleans the roller and tube. The roller fibres will permanently absorb some dye from the paint colour being used. This is more noticeable with stronger colours. However, this tinting will not impair the performance of the roller. Remove the handle from the roller head by pressing the roller release button. Holding the handset above the unit and pressing the drain button will allow any remaining water in the tube to drain back into the unit. Lift the blue chamber complete with docking station and take to the sink. Lift the roller from the docking station and unclip the roller sleeve from its cage. Then squeeze the roller to remove excess water. The roller cage should be rinsed along with the internal feeder tray. The tray should also be rinsed. Discard the waste water from the chamber and rinse with clean water. Any remaining water in the white chamber can also be disposed of. To store the unit after cleaning, detach the handle from the roller and remove the dip tube. Ensure the unit is completely dry before storage and that the tube is looped without any kinks. Painting just got easier.